Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another Daisy video. Four years ago on my channel, I uploaded what is the most viewed video I have ever made, which is where to find all the car parts in Daisy. Well, in the four years that have since passed, some of that information has changed, some of it no longer matters. Like when it comes to finding tires, for instance, in game, it is very difficult to find them unless you go exactly to where your specific vehicle type spawns and attempt to take one off of it. So much has changed with vehicles ever since we first uploaded that video, some of it for the better. Oh, I'm knocked out. I'm still alive. I'm knocked out. And some of it for worse. Add the fire state. Oh no, the one. server desync. Uh oh, oh. we're dead. Yep. So without further ado, let's jump into where you can find all Daisy Vehicle Part Locations 2023 edition. Now let me start by telling you I Survive is your best friend for this as you can see the exact vehicle name and it'll show you where it spawns. Whether that be for Chinaris or Livonia, it doesn't matter, they have it for both. Just like if you need to find Gunter parts for instance, you can always look on the map and see where the closest Gunter spawn is to where you're located and head over there to see if it has the pieces that your vehicle needs. It may not always work, but it's the easiest way to scrounge up a few pieces quickly, especially for body parts such as hoods and doors. Now certain buildings and even certain areas are more likely to spawn anything vehicle related. Like the red storage units you see in almost every city are amazing for finding things like spark plugs, car batteries, light bulbs, and even the occasional tire repair kit. Very rarely have I found any car pieces in these, like doors or hoods, but it is still possible to find these items. Now, industrial areas in any city are really good for car parts as well. Not the farm building, but the factory tile locations, the multi-garage buildings, and a few of the big warehouse type buildings as well. That's where, in my personal opinion, you can find a lot of vehicle parts, especially for the bigger trucks. The small sheds you see across both Trinaris and Livonia are very underrated for finding car parts. Most people think that they shouldn't even check them because a lot of times these have base building items instead of car parts. However, I feel like lately I've found a lot more car parts in them and there's so many per each city that there are easily 15 plus of these little sheds just sitting behind houses through every single city. Now tires have always been the hardest for me to personally find which is why usually it works out best to get on I Survive, like I mentioned earlier and see if you have any vehicle spawns near you for whichever vehicle you need tires for. And you have to make sure that you are not going to the wrecked vehicle locations and having those selected because as of right now in 2023, body parts and tires do not spawn on them. That may change later, but as of right now, right this second, they do not. Let's take the end of this video and talk about the unicorn of vehicles in DayZ, the Humvee. It is very hard to find one, and if you can find one mostly intact, the parts can be spread out very far and can be super difficult to find all the pieces that you'll end up needing. For instance, on a vanilla Daisy server, only three can be found on the map at any given time, making it the rarest vehicle in the game. I'll put a map up now of both Trinaris and Livonia to show you the spawns. You can easily pull this up on iSurvive if you needed to as well. The Humvee has always been more difficult to find everything for to get it fully running because it uses a glow plug instead of a normal spark plug like other vehicles in the game. They can be a massive pain to find, but they do spawn all across the map, luckily. Like the other vehicles, the only real way to get tires for the Humvee is to drag them off other Humvee spawns, which can be spread out very far and very wide. Well guys, that is going to do it for today's video. A bit of a throwback to one of my first videos that really got my channel going. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.